Tottenham Hotspur Football Club now have an official training wear partner. Lucas Moura has come out and said that he fully expected Maurizio Pochettino to choose him in the starting eleven in the Champions League final 2019. And new signing Emerson Royal has come out and said that he did not want to leave Barcelona in the summer transfer window. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all keeping well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start today's video with an official announcement from Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Get here named our official training wear partner. Get here, the pioneer of ultra fast grocery delivery, has signed a three year agreement to become our new and first ever official training wear partner, increasing its commitment to the club as an official global partner. Since launching in the UK in January, Get Here has completed 1 million grocery deliveries across London, Birmingham, Manchester, Brighton, Cardiff, Liverpool and Bristol and expects to operate in up to 15 UK cities by the end of 2021, as well as launching in the US before the end of the year. Todd Klein, the Chief Commercial Officer of Tottenham Hotspur, said, We are delighted to be expanding our relationship with Get Here and carrying their name on the men's team training wear for the next three years. We look forward to supporting the growth in awareness of the Getir brand using the global appeal of the club and by delivering unique experiences and match day activations at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for our fans using Getir's world class technology. A very interesting piece was published by ESPN in Brazil on Friday. They have been talking to Tottenham star Lucas Moura and he has come out and said that he fully expected to play in the Champions League final on the 1st of June 2019 under Maurizio Pochettino. He said, on the day of the game, we were leaving the hotel. In the last speech at the hotel, even the atmosphere was a little tense among the players because no one understood anything. A historic classification like that, I was very confident, convinced that I was going to play and that we would be champions. I'm a very professional guy with a very calm mind. And at that moment, I just wanted to be a champion. So I didn't have any reaction, nothing to say to him. Lucas Moura then went on to talk about Maurizio Pochettino and his decision. And he said, whether we like it or not, we have to respect it. But sometimes we don't agree with all of the coach's decisions. We have to know how to respect it. And as I said, at that moment, I just wanted to be a champion. I just wanted to win the game. And unfortunately, it wasn't possible. Lucas Moura then added, it was great pride for me being able to reach the Champions League final with everything that happened in the semis. It's a medal I keep with a lot of affection, which I value very, very much. And I'm proud of everything that happened that season. Now, my thoughts on this, I do really feel for Lucas Moura. Um, I tell you what, I remember that Ajax game very, very well. And, uh, you know, what a moment. Every single Spurs fan will remember that game for the rest of their life. They will remember where they were, who they were with. Absolutely everything about that game, the details, it was just immense. Absolutely incredible scenes. Lucas Moura, uh, of course, he will always go down uh, as being a Tottenham Hotspur legend just for that one game. Um, incredible scenes. Now, I remember waking up in Madrid on the 1st of June 2019, um, feeling so excited, thinking, oh my God, we are in a Champions League final. You know, we could be European champions uh, I had my son Harry with me, my dad with me as well. Three generations of Tottenham Hotspur fans at a Champions League final. It was just like a dream come true. Um, until, of course, that Moussa Sissoko handball incident. Mo Salah obviously put it away uh, and the rest is history. Uh, of course, we lost the game 2-0. Um, but the main talking point up to that game, you know, was is Lucas Moura going to start? Surely he's going to start. Or is Harry Kane going to start the game? Um, you know, because he's been injured, been out injured. So many people on that day, I remember being in Madrid Square where the atmosphere was absolutely electric. As I say, I, I, you know, that, that day was just amazing. Uh, 
up until the Musa Sissoko incident with the penalty. Um, but everyone who I was talking to expected Lucas Moura to start that game, particularly after what he had done um, at Ajax, getting that hat trick. You know, what a what a performance, what, you know, three fantastic goals in that game. Um, I just really feel for Lucas Moura because, as he said there in that interview with ESPN Brazil, he treasures his runners-up medal. And, uh, you know, I want to see our team and our players winning trophies now because, you know, for, for those of you who watch this channel on a regular basis, 13 long years, you know, I talk about it all the time, 13 long years now without trophies. You know, players at our club deserve trophies. Us fans deserve trophies. So I'm hoping sooner rather than later, uh, you know, Luke, the likes of Lucas Moura, Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris, etc., are all talking about winner's medals and, uh, you know, not cherishing uh, a runner's-up medal. Um, but in my opinion, um, and I said this at the time leading up to the Champions League final, Lucas Moura should have played and started that match. New Tottenham Hotspur winger Brian Hill is currently away on international duty with his country, Spain. Uh, he played Friday night, 80 minutes, uh, as his country beat Russia 4-1. Best of luck to the Tottenham Hotspur women. On Saturday, they will be starting their FA Barclays Women's Super League campaign against Birmingham City, 3pm kickoff, and the game is being played at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Now, interesting story this. New signing Emerson Royal, of course, Brazilian right back, just signed from Barcelona. On the 24th of August, he tweeted a picture of him uh, in a Barcelona shirt stating, so happy to be here. And then, of course, on transfer deadline day on the 31st of August, he signed for Spurs and then tweeted, wonderful to be with you. Here we go. Now, he has been talking to Spanish publication Marsa and said the ways of Barcelona, uh, they have hurt me. They could have been otherwise. There were better ways to fix things. Emerson Royal has been talking to Marsa, and he has come out and said that Barcelona told him he had to leave. Uh, he said, they were telling me that I had to go, yes or yes. When I arrived, I was sure that Barcelona did not want to sell me. But seeing what happened in the past, it is clear to me that when they signed me, they had already had the idea of selling me in mind. I thought the club wanted me to stay. I played on Sunday as a starter. The next day I woke up and went to train quietly. When I was there, I began to see a lot of things were coming out, that Tottenham were talking to Barcelona and they had almost got the deal done. I didn't understand anything about what was happening because I didn't know anything. He then went on to say that the club called him in the afternoon and he met the leaders of the club. He then said uh, they began to tell me that the club situation was not good, that it is going through a difficult period and that it is better for them to sell. I repeated to them my intention was to stay because I had the illusion of playing here and contributing things to Barcelona. He then added, I knew if I was going to be in my best shape, I was going to succeed here. I am smart and there come a time when I realised that they were telling me to go yes or yes. They were kicking me out with very good words. Now, my thoughts on this, um, I do feel for Emerson Royal, really, because on the 24th of August, as I said, uh, you know, so happy to be here. He tweeted at Barcelona um, and then a week later being sold uh, and then moving to London to Tottenham Hotspur Football Club. Um, I don't think there, there will be any player in the land when you're playing for Barcelona Football Club. Um, I don't think there's going to be anyone out there, you know, happy to leave Barcelona. It's probably like one of the dreams of a footballer. You want to be playing at a top club like Barcelona. Um, but they're in real financial trouble. They need the money. And uh, I think that this is a great move for Spurs. I've said this on numerous videos before. Emerson Royal, a fantastic defender. Really looking forward to seeing him play. It'll be interesting to see whether he makes his Premier League debut next Saturday against Crystal Palace away. Um, but he will probably have a real point to prove as well to, to the likes of Barcelona uh, to say, you know, you shouldn't have sold me. So I'm fully expecting him to have a fantastic season for Spurs. And, uh, you know, I've been saying all summer we need defensive reinforcements. We've gone out and signed two fantastic players, Christian Romero and Emerson Royal. So really looking forward to seeing uh, both of them play uh, in the near future. Lots of reports on this story in the last couple of days. This one is from TalkSport. Serge Aurier would be open to a shock move to Arsenal after terminating his contract with North London rivals Tottenham, according to reports. Serge Aurier spelt Spurs come to an end a year early this week after the club fouled in their efforts to sell him during the summer transfer window. 
The report then states that Aurier 28 was strongly linked to Arsenal when he joined Spurs for £23 million back in 2017 and had even taken pictures of himself in an Arsenal shirt. Arsenal have been named as a potential destination by Sky Sports, but any move has been complicated by the signing of fellow right-back Takiro Tomiyasu. Aurier would still present a far more attacking option on the right-hand side for Arsenal, and should a deal be done, he would join an exclusive list of men who have crossed the red and white divide and played for both of the North London rivals. Uh, the list include the likes of Emmanuel Adebayor, uh, William Gallas, Sol Campbell and Pat Jennings. Now my thoughts on this, and I'll keep it brief, good grief. i tell you what, nothing would surprise me about Serge Aurier and nothing would surprise me about Arsenal Football Club. An article has been published by HammyEnd.com and they are stating that Fulham's under-18s have been drawn against Stoke City, Leeds United and Tottenham Hotspur in the group phase of the Premier League Cup. England have their World Cup qualifier at Wembley Stadium this Sunday against Andorra, 5pm kickoff, and the England national team are currently training at Tottenham's training ground at Hotspur Way. I would just like to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for nominating me for a Football Content Award 2021. I'm absolutely thrilled, delighted and extremely surprised and shocked to say that I've been shortlisted for three awards this year. The Best Club Content Creator, the Best Club Creator and the Best in Video. Now the finalist voting round will end at midnight on Sunday the 12th of September. The winners will be revealed at the live event at the Royal Lancaster Hotel on the 14th of October. If you would like like to vote for me again in this final round it would really really be appreciated thank you very much indeed for all of your support thanks for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it please do let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below on everything i've spoken about in today's video if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet please do hit that subscribe button enjoy your weekend stay safe and well i'll see you on the next video come on you spurs